Good morning. Wow, it's dark. I can't even see. I guess uh, summer's over, huh? It's the first uh, first day after Labor Day. So uh, I guess that kind of really does mean it's over. Anyway, this is the uh, Path of Wildness Meditation for whatever the hell day this is. <laughs> whatever the first day after Labor Day, Labor day is. What is it, the 4th or the 5th? Something. <clears throat> this is a... Uh, a meditation that I do, daily uh, exercise, <clears throat> at the start of uh, the, the work day in earnest, so to speak. not quite, but you know, it's after I get up and have my breakfast and uh, enjoy a, a couple of, uh, you know, try to get the brain started with maybe a podcast or something like that, usually a YouTube video. This morning I was listening to uh, Sam Harris talking on uh, artificial intelligence, interesting stuff. <clears throat> But I do this to uh, reinforce in my, uh, my mind, my own uh, outlook on life, my own philosophy, if, you, if, I go so, if I dare to describe it as such. I guess it is, you know? If a philosophy is a, a construct for uh, making your way through life, an apparatus of uh, living, mental apparatus of living, then I guess that's what it is. There are uh, three objectives. It's so dark you can't see my fingers. Three objectives and seven uh, principles along the path of wildness. The uh, first objective is the development of good, sound principles that are used uh, through the course of life. So you you develop these as a means of, of living a better life, but it's, it's a tricky thing, especially with really young, because you these are not pres prescriptive. These are are descriptive in a way, uh, descriptive of, of best practices that we discover. Hey, there, there I am. The sun's up. <laughs> the lights up. Truck, truck, hide truck lights in my eyes. And so uh, the young, I, I can't offer much. If if this really is an offer, but it really isn't so much as uh, just a recording. But I can't. Uh, to the young, I can't say. You know, here's what to do. Although you can look at the seven principles that I've developed and use that as an example, I would much rather prefer that uh, you develop your own. And there may be some elements of that, maybe a lot of elements of that that you can take up on your own, or or at least, uh, at least if you're going to, if you do that, then give give my my seven principles the, the, a good test. Run them through the damn ringer. Make sure that they're, make sure that they make sense according to uh, your world. And sorry for my, I lost my voice. I was at a uh, Labor Day party yesterday at my brother's house. I'm playing with my niece and nephew in the pool, and uh, I used up my voice. So the uh, second principle, the uh, second objective, actually, is the uh, uh, cultivation of good emotional reactions. Uh, being able to respond to the world in such a way that uh, we can can maintain our our cognitive mastery of this this wet system that we are, uh, that we don't run away with it and let our emotions uh, uh, carry us away. It's a real challenge to do. I had several opportunities uh, over the last week to do that. There were some uh, challenging things, you know, a daughter acting up a little bit, uh, spreading her wings as a teenager a little bit, you know, pushing the envelope, which is a good thing and also a scary thing as a parent. And, uh, you know, to keep my, uh, my equanimity, my balanced thought in that capacity. So there's that. And, uh, and also a couple of other things where I, I, I kind of got to do it. And it's interesting because I practice this. It's reached the point now that uh, when these things rise, when I feel the, what, what are the, the pre-passion rising, that initial flush, flush of feeling, I can... I'm getting to the point now that I can almost immediately recognize it and say, ha, ah, there it is. Even though I don't say that in the in the moment. I say, there it is. And then a little voice in the back of my head is saying, here's your chance to uh, uh, exercise good emotional reactions and control it. And it's hard. Even if you've got the the mind consciously, you know, hovering there over the passion, 
and it, it's hard to uh, rein it in and it's it's like it's kind of like riding a riding a bucking bronco in a way it's, it's kicking and jumping your 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 emotions are, are kicking and jumping your woo hold on yeah i'm gonna ride this baby you know but uh, i was able to do it and the interesting thing was one of the concerns that i had early on i may not be able to complete the thing i'm five minutes in i may have this video maybe something else um another thing was that uh, i've had this concern that uh but by controlling the emotions that you're suppressing them, the experiences that I had this week were not like that at all. I mean, the emotions were being exercised there. They were. It was like like it would be it would be like saying what I held before that you know after riding a bucking bronco that the bucking bronco would still you know have all pent up energy. You know, I think the bucking bronco used up its spirit in energy at least for the moment in the fact of its bunk trying to bunk me off and. Uh, um, my body and my mind were definitely going through all the machinations of uh, of emotional turmoil, while my something higher, the cogn higher cognitive uh, restraint, was all along for the ride. And when it was all done, it was quite spent. But I had maintained my uh, my equanimity, so to speak. I had uh, I had kept myself on the course that I was that I knew was the better course, which is to be keep my fatherly uh, disposition and, and fatherly face, you know, despite my my, my uh, wanting to be more upset, and uh, tracking along the, the course that I, I, I knew was the better course. Try as I think through my way through here. So the third uh, objective is to uh, uh, simply perform good actions. So, okay, I may run out of time. This thing might run out of memory, so if this video just stops somewhere, that's what happened. And I may still upload it because I'm, I like that piece that I just did right there about the, uh, uh, about the, the, the realization that controlling my emotions didn't, doesn't mean that I was necessarily bottling them up, that the emotions there that are, were there. You, you know, the whole piece I just did. So in fact, I may retitle this video just along those lines. I mean, uh, what would I, what would I call it? You know, along for the ride, along for the emotional ride, something like that. But I'll continue. Uh, the seven principles now. Seven. Uh, the first principle is the atomic principle. I may go quickly through these. Uh, atomic principle uh, simply states that the world is made of atoms, bits and pieces, compounds, formed of. Uh, uh, molecules formed of atoms, formed of subatomic particles, formed of uh, smaller stuff still, and ultimately uh, energy, matter being a form of energy, frozen form of energy, so to speak. And that these things are changing, fluctuating, uh, uh, constantly becoming something else. What was yesterday is something else today, and again, something else tomorrow. And that um, to, uh, um, uh, what was I going to say? To uh, That to... Oh, I'm confused. Uh, I'm trying to maneuver my way through this uh, thingy here. There we go. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's I don't know why it always does that. It's like being mesmerized, mesmerized by the stoplight. You know, it's, it's, it's the traffic gate, the light thing that gets people onto the freeway. <laughs> I always have to get through that, and it's like it's like having the watch tick tock tick tock. I can't think when I'm going through that, but now we're moving along. Anyway, the atomic principle, you know, hey, don't be ready for change. <laughs> and you're going to die soon. Be something else. <laughs> Excuse me. So the second one, second principle is the uh, principle of nature. We all have a particular nature. Everything in the universe has some nature to it. And <laughs> our better lives is realizing that we're trying to discover what those things are, the nature of things around us, and our, particularly ourselves, and living in accordance to that. We'll live a better life. <laughs> Three, social principle. Hey, we're better off when we look at after the uh, welfare of the community than just ourselves. Uh, four, the uh, principle of uh, temp temperance. What's coming? So many distractions this morning. Principle of temperance. Good. Of uh, controlling our emotions dovetails nicely with the second objective, which is the control of, uh, of emotional control. So, but uh, they can break it down even further into uh, temperance with regard to consumption, which is the most obvious one. Um, but it's it's a great training ground. It's, it's like an, it's like you know boot camp where you're working out every you know exercise, running, running, running 
uh, miles, doing squats, doing push-ups, doing pull-ups, well for the larger uh, sense of physical fitness. Uh, when you exercise temperance in the mundane day-to-day -day things such as controlling how much you eat, drink, work, play, have sex, all that kind of stuff, you're actually developing a larger, a better, a bigger, a better constitution of control that will allow you to exercise better control over your emotional reactions. Four, uh, five, the, five, the uh, principle of the great indifference, the, the universe, hey, there's nothing out there but us, you know, there's, uh, there's no, and I like the way uh, Sam Harris was talking about it this morning, you know, the lights on, you know, that uh, they were talking about uh, uh, artificial intelligence that may outstrip us of, uh, of sure, pure cognitive power, may destroy us, but the lights may not be on, it may not have consciousness. So I guess that's a good way to describe it. Uh, to all of intents and purposes, it appears that we there is no consciousness uh, greater than ourselves. Uh, there are other consciousnesses, of course, uh, here on the planet. Consciousnesses? Is that a word? Um, you know, there are dogs. Dogs and cats are conscious. And, and just about every, you know, almost all life that we can think of is conscious to some degree. But there is no uh, there is no per, per, appears to be no godlike uh, super consciousness out there that's uh, overriding everything. Uh, if you look out beyond this planet, it's all uh, em empty of an em empty void. Uh, whatever you think might be out there, I would challenge you to uh, prove, prove to yourself and others if you were so, so inclined that that's anything more than wishful thinking and or uh, internal self-internal dialogue that you're having. No one's been able to show that to be otherwise. And all the fancy uh, uh, claims to faith uh, are nothing more than uh, a retreat to a safe sanctuary where no further proof is necessary. It's a weak defense. Uh, well, we're over 11 minutes now. Uh, six, reason. Uh, reason is the uh, uh, is the governing faculty. It's the way that we can discern. We can come to believe as many true things as possible and not as and, and not believe untrue things. Uh, seven, the uh, virtue. Hey, I made it. Let's see if I can wrap this up. Virtue is the uh, purpose of life, according to my uh, my, my little scheme here. Uh, purpose. Oh, oh, police have activity had police. Purpose of life def being defined as uh, be virtue being achieved through the walking the path of life where you are uh, uh, recognizing the transient nature of, of everything, seeking after your own, an understanding of your own and the nature of others, living according to that, working towards so social ends, exercising restraint, uh, recognizing that the universe doesn't give a damn, and then above all, using reason as the governing faculty and the, and the discriminating con, con uh, 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 gosh, of course the word fails me at the end. Discriminating what? Identifier of truth? It doesn't ring the way I wanted to, but I guess that's what it is. So that's it. Hey, 12 minutes and 40 seconds. I made it. That's it. So, But I want I to call this the path of wildest meditation. I may call this... Um, riding the bull, managing our... You know, T taming our emotions. Ah, that's all sounds so cliche. I'll think of something. Okay, take care, everybody. Bye bye. Hi, everybody. I was like, I'm writing this for everybody. These videos are not. I just they're there. I put them up just just for you know. Actually, the reason I do this is because when I don't do this, when I don't turn the camera on or upload it, that's important part. Then I just fire through this stuff. I get more out of this. It's more. It's like it's kind of like you take it more seriously when you know. Uh, that, that there's an, uh, there may be an audience, even if there isn't. So I guess I, I'm not so concerned about there being an audience because I put this on a separate channel. <laughs> so, and I don't know, don't tell anybody about it. So, oh, there you go. Okay, bye bye. Off 13, almost 14 minutes. See ya.